I'm starting to lose my voice, and I'm getting all, like, nasally. Oh, I hope I don't get sick right before TwitchCon. That'd be sad days. Excellent. We're gonna keep this fairly short. I'm probably gonna do, like, an hour. <laughs> because I am, uh... I'm on about three hours of sleep, and I don't want to get sick right before TwitchCon. But, we can get some good Pine View in right now. It's 1am, I just finished two assignments, I'm gonna die. Well, at least they're finished. Make sure you finish Evil Within 2 and not quit midway. The latter half of it ending is unexpectedly... Oh, I'm not going to quit halfway, I don't think. It's it's good enough that I want to see it through. I have no idea how close I am to the end, but... We were talking about you and Candace today with Carson. Really? Was it good stuff? <laughs> I can't imagine Carson talking shit about me. <laughs> but you never know. Also, guys, don't, don't, uh, don't be pregnant and, like, do a game. Just try not, try not to be, be a pregnant. Don't be, don't be a pregnant. A pregnant. They got beef. Hey, turd burglar. And don't be gregnant. Your Twitch delay is like five seconds. That's pretty good. Shit, too late time. Already pregnant. Pr pregnant. Pregnant. Ty, if I'm a pregnant man, can I not watch you play this game? No. No, you have you have to not do that. But I'm per 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 granted. <laughs> You're a pomegranate. But yeah, Geister, thank you for that raid. Uh, if you want, Geister, we, we should play a little more Divinity soon. I'll, I'll drop you a message. Oh, man. So we're going to wait a teeny bit. Just to make sure uh, we get the maximum amount of people in for Pine View. No problem. I was super happy when I heard you were starting this the second I beat Resident Evil 4. Nice. We were just saying how you and Candace are an awesome couple and your personalities are awesome together. Also how you and Carson went to the same college and stuff. Yeah, me, Carson, uh, Mia, and Candace all went to the same college, the same program, pretty much. I think, I think she did as well. Not, well, Candace did, obviously, but yeah, we were all in like from, but we didn't even, we didn't know each other at the time. It was just kind of, we just so happened to all go to the same college, to the same program at different times and then meet after that. So, yeah. Nothing but good things. You lie. They say, he said he hated us and he wants us to die. No, I, I got you. Well, thanks. All right. So for those of you that are arriving, uh, this is Pine View Drive. It's the scariest game ever made. Fight me. I, I will fight you. Uh, in my opinion, this is the scariest game ever made. Because it uh, taps into all the fears I have about like spooky houses and ghosties and stuff. It's basically a haunted house simulator. Uh, we are f four. We're on the 26th day out of 30. You want to go there? Oh boy, it's on. I will fight you. Uh, nope. You're down to fight? <laughs> Plotting your murder at TwitchCon? Exactly. Oh man, TwitchCon's in like three. Fuck, we have to get on a plane in a couple of days. That's crazy. It's starting to set in now that I'm like, oh shit, yeah, TwitchCon. So you know what's really funny, chat? I wanna I wanna tell you about one last grievance before we get started. 
So on Twitter, uh, for the longest time, I had my DMs disabled. I had them only available for people I followed. And then I realized that's a silly thing to do when you're like a content creator, uh, internet person. Ah, thank you, whoever that was. Uh, Baharat, thank you for that two month resub. But yeah, when you're an inter, uh, when you're a content creator person, it's a bad idea to have DMs disabled. So I enabled them, but I didn't realize that by enabling them, I still had a setting where if somebody sends me a DM that's not, that I'm not following, you subbed like two days ago? Oh. Well, thanks, Baharat. Either way. But when somebody sends me a DM that I'm not following, it actually goes to a special place on Twitter that I've never seen before. Because I check Twitter every fucking day. Like, m multiple times. If someone sends me a message, I get it immediately on my phone and I read it. It's like, it's like Twitter is the way. Uh, DMs, anyway. And... So I found out that in my DM inbox, there's a section for like pending, yeah. And I did, I clicked on it and chat, there were messages from, from like several months, important fucking messages too. Chat, I, <laughs> I was, I was, I would have been in a, in a battlegrounds tournament at TwitchCon on the main stage. If I had checked my pending DMs, I was fucking, <laughs> I was invited to the, the, the invitational battlegrounds tournament. I was invited to all these like important, like, like these big parties at TwitchCon, like <laughs> Jesus, uh, all these business opportunities and stuff like sponsorships and every, I'm just like, holy fuck. And the worst part chat. Like, hunt, like, like dozens of messages from you guys sending me songs, sending me game opportunities, sending me Steam keys, uh, reminding me about stuff that I asked you to remind me through Twitch DMs. And all I thought was that when I would tell you guys to send me a DM and I wouldn't get it, I was like, oh, I guess they don't want to DM me. Like, I would just be like, oh, well, I guess... I guess I'm not cool enough to get a DM from fans or whatever, or, or like viewers and stuff. So I was just like, I, whatever. And then I checked yesterday and I'm like scrolling through messages of like big chains of like, just important shit. Like, <laughs> I'm missing a PUBG tournament at TwitchCon with like all my friends. <laughs> because Twitter is a big fucking garbage. And it didn't, it, there's no... There was no spot on the Twitter interface that has like a number or an exclamation mark or anything. It's literally a subsection of a subsection. So because of that, I missed out on tournaments. I missed out on like sponsorship opportunities. People were sending me free shit, free Steam keys that are long since expired and gone because they've been, you know, I guess they assumed I didn't want their free game that they wanted to like show me. And I'm just like, oh, thanks Twitter for like, Thanks for six months of uh, missed opportunities, Twitter. So I just, anyway, chat now, if you ever want to DM me and give me cool stuff or, or just say nice things or recommend songs or games or whatever, I'll see it now because I understand how that section works. But alas, that's how it goes. That's fucked. Isn't that crazy, man? It feels so bad missing out on things. Because I thought, I th I was under the impression that PUBG, like, left me behind. Right? I was under the impression they, they had, like, you know, whatever, like... <sighs> like, chat, remember, uh, remember a few months ago, uh, PUBG had a big tournament in Germany? where they flew out a bunch of teams to like play Battlegrounds in Germany and win all these awesome prizes and like hype ass commentary and everything. Yeah, I missed that message. <laughs> I missed a DM about, you know, going to Germany for free and playing Battlegrounds like on the Twitch front page with like my, my friends and being on like an awesome team where we could have had like 
our sprays in the game, like the fucking shrew crew. Like I could have had like a shrew wearing an army helmet with like pink and blue fucking fur. And I like, <laughs> so anyway, I'm done crying about that. Uh, but anyway, I, I, yeah, technology can be a big garbage sometimes, especially when it's like subtle like that. When they're like, yeah, oh, we're not going to tell you about your missed opportunities. So I'm trying to like catch up on all these old messages and stuff and tell people that I don't hate them. Like I had some people message me and say like they were super sorry for like something they said in chat or um, like a moment where like I was being petty and they set me off and I probably banned them out of spite like a big fucking baby. And they sent me a message saying like how sorry they were and like four months pass and I never got the message and they've since left the stream thinking that they're banned forever and I'm like <laughs> I will fight you, Twitter, for making me lose friends. Did I shed man tears? Not quite, but... It could have been disastrous. If, like, with TwitchCon here, I, I... Like, I have some meetings at TwitchCon now that I wouldn't have had if I hadn't checked. And, like, parties that are kind of important, because, like, you know, networking and stuff, and it's just like... Ugh. Anyway, no... If any of you are banned out there and like you're sitting in the limbo where you can't chat but you still like the stream, like send me a message now and I'll fix that. Cause like you're forgiven. Unless you were a super cock dick and you got banned for being like a big fucking racist or whatever. In which case, like just just unplug your internet and like go go do something that's not the internet. Ty's networking is just waking up to people and saying, Banned, nerd! Exactly, Riddersong. That's, that's my whole life right there. The past is the past, I know. Okay, but anyway, let's play Pineview. We are on day 26. <sighs> or you can sub and donate like I did. Ty, Ty is now accepting all nudes. I, I mean... <laughs> I mean, I'm, I am not telling you how to live your life, chat. What you do with your phone and your whatever, like, is, is your call. Okay. Oh, I'm like half health. But I have one of the photos. Alright, Soul's Honor. Maybe we should write a letter to our friend. It's been a couple weeks since power went out. They're probably worried about us. The study at the top of the main stairs should do. Was that a 30 second day? Okay. I'll take it. That our health is refilled. So anyway, chat. You're welcome. I mean, if, if that's the thing you want to do, you can do that. But the catch is you have to send it via snail mail. And it has to be so that that that'll be that that's the catch then. If you guys if you want to do that, you have to take a picture. What the fuck? You have to take a picture with like a Polaroid, the oldest camera you can get your hands on. And then you have to fucking mail it in a sealed envelope with like a fucking like wax stamp of your house, like your your coat of arms. 
Yes, it, yeah, they have to, exactly. They have to, that's the, not, that's the easiest way to make them super artistic. <laughs> One day I'll receive, uh, you need someone to paint you like a French girl, then send it to Ty. Yeah, exactly, there you go with her song. Hire, hire a, uh, like an art historian <laughs> to paint you, and there you go, done. Uh, let's go to the manly bust and up the stairs through the door. Might be something interesting around the manly bust. How do we get there? We're on day 27. That's the manly bust, I think. And you said go to the top of the stairs? Oh, batteries, yes! Oh, thank you, Haunted Mansion, for supplying me with batteries. Uh, Lensical, please, I would never do that. My Snapchat is a fine Christian experience. Okay, where, what are we doing? One letter away, what do I do? Uh, thank you, CHMF for the 100 bits. Tyler with screenshots, my, I do not, you send me, Geistry, you send me gay porn on Snapchat. Why would I screenshot that? I mean, not that I, it, it's impressive. It's, it's impressive photoshopped, like, gay porn, where it's like... <laughs> he puts, like, bananas and, like... And, like, various fruits and stuff in front of all the... the... But, I mean, it is what it is at the end of the day. So what am I do- what am I looking for here, uh... Souls? Head up the stairs near the attic. Um... So this way. Geister makes like extremely elaborate porn edits. Of course, like I, I can't remember if I screenshotted any of them. Like if I did, it was purely because I was very impressed by your ability to use your phone to. S Is your ability to use your phone to like screenshot. So where am I, what am I doing Soul's Honor? Here maybe? I don't think there's anything in this attic. Perhaps the secondary attic. Ah, oh, yes, the secondary attic. So not up here? What kind of house has several attics? Also, yeah, guys. Definitely wear headphones for this.
The other at all oh, the other other attic. Okay, go gotcha. ASMR from hell. Fuck, I hate ASMR so much. It's just it kills me. I don't know why. Don't psst me, you fuck. Uh, Lensical! <laughs> Thank you for that sub, Lensical. Welcome back. I think you've been a sub before. Probably multiple times. But thank you very much. Um, where's the other, other attic? I think... The way I know how to get there. Oh, down the hall past the glassish door. I think the way I'm going is going to get me there, too. The other attic, if I remember, there's one like this way. Shit, sorry, Chad. I, I know you can't see anything. I can't either. This is the... the tough part about this game. I think... I think we can get there from here. This is like first person Luigi's Mansion. Uh This way or was this where we just were? We were just We were just here, weren't we? Yeah, we were just here. Fuck my life. Okay, so you said through a glass door. My eyes are like burning trying to like see. like it could be an attic. Hang on. I think we found it. Maybe. This feels right. There it is. Oh, baby. Music is far too loud. Okay. Not nudes out of ten. The child is going to be the clown from earlier. That would be that would be fucked. I hope not. You missed 15 days? Yeah, we're pretty close to the end. The child is actually Chucky. Alright, where are we off to now, Mr. Soul's Honor? Head to the kitchen near the chess room for a snack. Uh, chess room. 
chess room was this way. Oh, hi! Hi, you big dumb idiot. Chess room. I want to say the chess room is second floor. I should know this by now. Uh, past the, past the booby statue. And one of these doors. Not that one. No, nope, that's the creepy painting room that we still have. No, it's not that one. Maybe it's at the end of the hall. Clock room? Maybe this isn't quite the floor I want. Why would the clown be- why would a clown be sitting in a mansion? What's wrong with- what you got against clowns? Uh, well, we found a- a kitchen. Is this the kitchen with the- where we're gonna find our snack? Or do you mean the other kitchen? The rust kitchen? Although both kitchens are pretty rusty, I must say. Boobies banned. I was so happy when Twitch lifted its like no nudity policy for video games. Because like there was a period. Like I mean I've been on Twitch for a hundred years so. Oh here's the chess room. Okay. So some of you may not remember this. But there was a period where Twitch was like any nudity you're banned forever. And I was like what? But what about like. You know, games are it's artistic, or like, what about if you're playing GTA and you go through like a stripper section? Are you supposed to like, like, hide the game or what, like whatever? And like, <laughs> and it made it so hard to like play certain. Maybe we should heat up the stove. Oh, was I in the right place? Wait, no, okay. There were rats in the in the bathroom for some reason. Oh, there it is. That ain't right. But here we are, day 29. The time is running out. I need the key to the cemetery gate. Oh, yes. All right, chat. We got to we got to do things fast. The music is crazy. Wander around, maybe take a small walk around the courtyard. Oh boy. What night is it? Is the 29th night? Well, day. It's day, technically. Yeah, anyway, Twitch used to have a very heavy-handed approach to uh, nudity, and it made me very sad. Because, like, I understand if you're, like... If you ban a game because, like, 
it gets graphic and ridiculous. But there's so many games that now have like tasteful stuff. And for a while it was like, no, you will be banned. Um, okay, you're still here. Remember when Twitch TV was- yeah, because I used to stream on Justin TV. Briefly. Heard of the game Lust for Darkness? I have. It looks actually really cool. I wish I could take the axe. Let's head back inside before it gets pitch black. Maybe we can write that letter. Write the letter where? In the study? I consider those anime porn games tasteful. I mean, I understand when Twitch is like, you know what? You can't stream porn. Also, this is fucked. That ain't nor no normal tree. But like... Yeah, it's come a long way, it's good. Is the ghost trying to help us? I have no idea. Find Linda's resting place. I'm so on edge. This is so fucked. The game is really nice when you can see it. I know. Batteries are st stupid, but...
All right. Now this is fucking dark. Oh, and our flashlight is gonna go out constantly. Double shadow room. Nope. And fusion. Thank you for the hundred bits. It's just trying to spook us. I wish you could light a match and carry that around, but I don't think you can. Okay. Now, all I remember about this section is dying several times. So there's that. so fucking dark. Oh, my eyes. This is going to take work, especially it's pitch fucking black. Do you want straight direct? No, no, I'll, I'll figure this one out from here on out. Uh, souls, I should be good. I'm well spooked. Thanks, Ashen. Uh, now, I came and I turned left, and now I'm going to turn right. Light a match and burn the house down. We're not in the house anymore. We're in a crypt. Or at least we're like in some sort of creepy sub basement thing. <laughs> fuck. Nope. Not turning. Fuck you. Time's, time's mad at that JPEG. Well, it's a PNG, so I'll give it that. But yeah, I get I get a little mad when, when games throw that at me, but I understand it's an effective spook. It gets me every time. Whew. I just hope I'm going roughly the right direction. Because getting lost down here, well, you don't want to get lost down here. If I hit a dead end, I'm going to be so fucked. <laughs> 
See, that kind of stuff makes you lose health, and there isn't really a way to avoid it. Maybe backing into it. <laughs> Thank you, cuddly emo bunny. Oh, there's a door. That's a good sign. I hope. The toilet room. Ew! Oh god! Oh! Oh, well that hurt us. Now, oh fuck, which way? Chat, which direction did I turn to go to the, the, oh uh, fuck. Did I turn left or right? Because a door, a, a path opened, but I don't remember. Go left? Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay, we're good. Thank you, chat. Otherwise, I would go the wrong way and we'd have to do this again. shit this looks a li little bit familiar please tell me there's like batteries in here batteries in the fish oh there is holy shit oh my god chat light is there more no just that so now we want to turn left. <clears throat> Alright. Those, uh, those footsteps are the most unnerving thing. Absolutely. If I ever make a horror game, that's going to be a big part of it. Yeah, we're going to ignore the shadows. Try to avoid them. <laughs> Fuck, man. Thank you, Pizzatastic, for the hundred biddies. Chat, we're getting close. Oh, another ghost. Fuck. Okay, we're, we're backing into you. Are you still gonna do damage? sucks. Okay, so I don't think we took <laughs> as I don't think we took as much damage. Sangris, thank you for the 100 bits. I don't think we took as much damage. Now, chat, you'll notice I'm not sprinting. Sprinting is 
probably not going to end well for me in this case. Although, if I get close and I get greedy, you might see me sprint. That's fucked up. Like little, 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 little jumps like that. Fusion, thank you for all the hundred biddies. Mm, garbage. Or whatever that is. Mm, alien scourge. and slow. Mostly because I don't want to sprint into a jump scare. There's so many, I love how each of these like creepy rooms is just a reminder of stuff from the house. Hello. Wah! Okay, so we need to make sure when we go back, you guys have to help navigate. Cause I'm gonna have a hard time on the way back. Cause I'm pretty sure this looks like a dead end. Um. Nope. Don't pst me, you fuck. Uh. Uh, Crab Jones, thank you for the hundred bits. God, I gotta stop running now. Holy fuck. I started just like sprinting around. We do not do- Oh my god, my flashlight is glitching. It shouldn't be- There's a key there. Uh oh. My flashlight like isn't going out either. Fuck right off. Get out of here, Mr. Clun. Now, uh... That, uh, fuck. I don't know which way to go. Sangris, thank you for the hundred bits. Fuck, uh... Uh, do I go this way, chat? Or... I think I go this way. Oh my god, I'm half health. Oh, this is savage.
Oh, my skin is like crawling. I'm getting the heebie-jeebs. But we're making, we're making progress, chat. And that's all that matters. Oh my god, I'm so injured. I need to get out of this room. health bar is taking a dive. We are not doing well. Okay. We can maintain though, chat. I'm not gonna die. I got this. Also, dying at this point would be tragic because that's a long way at a slow walk. That's not so bad. That doesn't actually do damage from what I can see. It's funny, I actually missed the house now. Get the machine going again. To do so, find the three main switches. Okay, I vaguely remember this. So main room, there's six doorways. These all connect to one another. Isn't this a crypt? Yeah, it's it's a bit strange, but then again the whole game has been pretty strange. 293. Oh. Fuck. Uh Oh, we can I'm sure once we get the machine going, it'll tell us the numbers. What is this? Why is that a dead end? Ah, oh, damn it. Uh, is there another switch in here? No, there's just that one. We gotta solve a puzzle while... Oh, there is, hang on. Oh, there's something, okay, batteries. There should be another... Yeah, no, I should be okay, souls. I did this before, it didn't take too long. I can't remember anything from this point on though. Like, well, I don't remember anything leading up to this point. There's a trick here though. What the fuck is it?
Maybe I have to go back? Oh, it can't be this. Unless it is. It is. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. There's two. back there. Oh, uh, 602? 602. That number changes, too, if I remember. <laughs> so we gotta... We can't just cheese this. So even if Soul's Honor wanted to try and walk me through, I would have had to... Hunt that number down. So 602, we have to get back to the main room. Which is not here. And then... This way? Why did he just gasp? No, I haven't, guys. Sure, that sounds cool, though. Was it 602? Yeah. At least my health is coming back. I miss a switch on like the main I got a key though what do you think the keys for <gasps> my health oh no why did I get greedy why did I get greedy? Oh no. Oh, the last switch though. Please tell me this is it. Started something up. Turns out you were actually playing the Blair Witch Project.
Oh, good night, Noma. Holy shit. Okay, so... Now, I know a lot of you are gonna be like, What the hell was that ending? All that work for this? I get it. And it, the ending was... Like that the first time. Yeah, that is it. That is the ending. I know it's strange, but it's about the journey chat. Basically, the doll cursed us, as far as I can tell. We don't we don't even find the stupid girl. She's dead, I think, isn't she? Although I do like these like studio photos. Those are creepy as fuck. You were Dan Aykroyd the whole time. Yeah, I know, Valentine. <laughs> oh god, that 3D model though. But god damn it, I want more. There are more Pine View experiences to be had. There's passing Pine View, there's uh Oh god. Am I gonna play the other modes I am? I'm gonna play the the eight pages or whatever. Uh, they added a new mode that I know nothing about chat, so. so creepy just whoosh. no thank you some things are about the experience like I've accepted that most games have shitty endings I've accepted that most movies have shitty endings so I've stopped worrying too much about the endings and just thought about like how good the actual, like, journey was. Nope. Uh, nope. Psh. Okay, that's terrifying. Psh. Red Dead has an amazing- yeah, but Red Dead is Rockstar and probably had a bunch- a whole team- Red Dead probably had a whole team working on the ending. <laughs> so the new- the new uh, modes have opened up, which is Open House Today. Which, as far as I know, Open House allows you to explore the entire mansion, all the doors are unlocked and uh, you explore it during the day. So it just lets you kind of experience the game without the like super creepy horror. And then Scarecrow the Eight Letters is the like... That's the mode we're going to play eventually where you get, uh, well, the Scarecrow has a pretty big part in it. And it's like a Slender Man kind of setup. Doing a ghost photo shoot would own, yeah. But let me just click on open house real quick. I'm pretty sure open house is just for like... Like it's a therapeutic after going through the house. Unless it's like... Okay. I'm hoping they get rid of all the spooks. Oh, it is fully daytime. Yeah. 
So it's just all the rooms during the day. Uh, probably without without any spooks. You can't light candles. Yeah, the HP is gone. It's just for the sake of exploring the house at a decent frame rate as well. And you'll notice you move a lot faster. Just the normal walking is like, look how fast this is. What about the crypt? Uh, I don't know actually. We can go check the crypt real quick. Although it sort of does feel like it's getting darker. Hang on, is that a... S I thought I saw a flashlight on the ground. I kind of wish there were just no doors. The bedrooms with windows are still really creepy. Yeah, well this game is naturally creepy. Can you load up Dead by Daylight before you go to bed? Well, I was going to play it tomorrow, Geistra. But I guess I can real quick. Yeah, I'll check it out before we go to bed. So anyway, chat, that was Pineview Drive. Uh, I apologize if the ending was a letdown and it was cryptic and bizarre or whatever. Uh, but again, I don't think Pineview Drive is the best horror game I've ever played because the story and, you know, the narrative, etc. I mean, that, that, that contributes to it. But... Oh, you can't open it. I... Pine... Ooh! Uh, Sangris, thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, Pine View is a journey. And it's a very long, painful journey that is non-stop tension. And I like it. I think that's kind of like... I, I, you don't play a lot of games that are like that. No, I think the ending is you just, you two die in the crypt. Yeah, I think you're right. It is interesting seeing the house fully lit. Like, I don't think there are any spooks. But if there was one, it would get me pretty good. Imagine if this game had a multiplayer, like, hide and seek mode. Where you could, like, spook each other. Something like that would be pretty cool. Woo! Can't you get banned for something like that? Uh, no, reshade. Uh, so reshade is a thing where you can adjust the the graphics and the coloring of some games, and for the most part, reshade is safe from cheat detection software. It's not that it doesn't detect that you're using reshade. It's that it's whitelisted. So like on PUBG and and uh, and Dead by Daylight certainly uh, there's it's safe to use as far as well I know PUBG 100% it's safe but uh, I've never heard anything from Dead by Daylight but I haven't been banned for using it so it doesn't let you do anything other than uh, just make things higher contrast. Play the Scarecrow nerd. No, we're going to, but it's... I <laughs> I need to go to bed. Uh, but first, we're just going to quickly check out the Dead by Daylight. Uh, but chat, for everyone that was here <laughs> for Pineview, thank you very much. Uh, that was a marathon that took, what, three days? to get through three very painful days it's gonna be the whole thing's gonna go up on YouTube because uh, I think there were some incredible moments uh, so you'll be able to rewatch the whole thing as many times as you like okay so let's see this new this new opening menu oh but I don't have the up 